has now been several days since the sudden closure of Bay Area Regional Medical Center in Webster. And tonight, we continue seeing the fallout. As some employees file a class action lawsuit, some patients are now out money that they prepaid for hospital services. As our Lee Felici reports, now those patients are trying to get reimbursed. My niece. Mary Rodriguez needs an MRI. And I have a lot of problems with my legs. That MRI was supposed to happen here at Bay Area Regional Medical Center. On Friday, she was asked to prepay for the services. You need a free uh, register and you need to pay me $150. She paid, not knowing that very same day, the hospital announced it was closing. When Mary and her husband showed up on Monday for the MRI. We got there, and they were fine that day. His sign in the door was closed. This couple is in their 70s and lives on a fixed income. We had the money to pay for it, no problem. But we don't have enough money to go pay somewhere else again. Calls to the hospital to find out how to get their money back goes unanswered. No clue at all. Bay Area Regional Medical Center employees say they were left in a lurch too. Harry Bowers and other staff filed a class action lawsuit this week saying the hospital violated something called the WARN Act by not giving them 60 days notice. And they feel hurt by what's happened and they want to do something. On the patient side, the Rodriguez's want answers too, not just for themselves, but for others. I'm sure more people were affected. I asked the hospital spokesperson about that lawsuit, but was told he couldn't comment on it because the hospital had not been served. I also asked how people could be reimbursed for services they had not received. We're still waiting to hear back on that one. In Webster, Lee Ferlisi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.